Uh, Matthew 28, uh, beginning verses 1, 2, and 3. Let's read those together, please. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn, toward the first day of the week, there came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning, as rain and white as snow. At the end of the Sabbath, what Sabbath was this? A feast day or the Saturday Sabbath? The Saturday Sabbath. Saturday Sabbath. Uh, the crucifixion the day before and uh, at that time, what was that Sabbath? A Saturday Sabbath or a feast day Sabbath? Feast day. Feast day, that's right. And so there are these two Sabbaths and many uh, Christians don't understand that. Therefore they think there's only one Sabbath and therefore they have these Friday services for the crucifixion. So, but, but at the end of the Sabbath, it, it began to dawn. When does the weekly Sabbath of the Jews end? 6 p.m. 6 6 on Friday, they, it ends, and that begins a new day, doesn't it? Not because uh, it ends at 6 p.m. on yes. Saturday. Saturday. It, it yeah, ends. That's what I said. It's when it ends. Yeah. And you said it begins on, it ends on, at 6 p.m. No, what I meant was the, the Sabbath, uh, weekly Sabbath, Begins, yeah, you're right, it begins. It begins, it begins at 6 p.m. It goes to 6 p.m. 6 p.m. on Friday. On Friday. Okay. Friday night. And goes to there. So, <laughs> as it began to dawn, toward the, what's that? You said it ended on the wrong day. Yeah. yeah. But what I meant was the, the other day ends yeah. at 6 p.m. Friday, but the Saturday begins on 6 p.m. plus 1. As it began to dawn, now, if it's 6 p.m., was it dawning when the Sabbath began? Was it dawning on the south? No. So they had that whole night, that whole evening from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. when it begins to dawn. So toward the first day of the week. What, what, what day would that be? Sunday. It's Sunday. Now, uh, is it true what the Roman Catholics and others say that we follow the Roman Catholic Church? That's why we worship on Sunday. Is that true? No. No. Who do we follow because of worship on the first scriptures. day? The Scriptures. Uh, does it ever say that the disciples met on the first day of the week? Yes, several times. Several times. Uh, the first time, was Ju was Thomas there? No. Yeah. Uh, was he there the second Sunday night? Yeah. Yes, he was there. So, yes. uh, and then of course it talks about 1 Corinthians 16. Lay aside as God's prosperity on the first day of the week. And no, uh, nothing would be bothered as far as the offerings are concerned. So, there's a number of uh, first day of the week. Uh, so, uh, who was there and who came at the end of the Sabbath, third, the first day of the week? Mary Magdalene. Right, and, and the other Mary. who was the other Mary? Remember, there were three. Uh, there were two other Marys. I'm not sure. Who last Mary chapter, was. last chapter. What were the two Marys? Mary. Uh, Mother Josie's, which would be what? Probably Jesus's. Jesus, your brother, and, and the other was Mary. Mary it might have been the mother of Jesus too. Could have been the other. The mother of Joseph, wasn't that, uh, that would be Mary, the mother of Joseph, right? Remember last, uh, Wasn't, don't we find out that that was, uh, they were, are they, I mean, is that James and Joseph, isn't that, Anne Marie read a verse about that being the, um, uh, the half, half, half brother of the Lord, yes. Right. So that would be Mary, the, the no, mother of the Lord. Of That's the, right. So yeah. this could be Mary right there as well. Uh, it says that the other Mary, we don't know who the other Mary would be, but there's, there's a lot of different Marys in Scripture. And there were three Marys last week, weren't there? Well, there were two Marys by name, Mary, and then the other Mary. The, the Mary Magdalene was mentioned. The mother of James, uh, the James and John, the mother of Zebedee, doesn't, 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 doesn't name her as Mary. She may have met her, may not be, but... Uh, Unless it says that one of the other Gospels... Wasn't she not Salome? Yeah, Salome or Salome, yes. So, so, uh, so what was the purpose of Mary... Uh, Magdalene and the other Mary to mm -hmm. come on the first day of the hope was their purpose, mm -hmm. according to verse 1. What was the purpose in coming? They were going to do the body and fix the body of Jesus. All right, but in, in verse, verse 1, though, what does it say for purpose? Just to see. To see, see the sacred ground. Why do you suppose they it's, wanted to see it? They wanted to know where it was, I guess. You know what it was? Want to find out about it? They were curious. So it's like when you go to 
someone's grave. That's you right. Find out where it is. Where it is, and they want to see it. They want it personally right there. Uh, were they at the crucifixion? Yes. Yes, they were crucifixion on chapter twenty-seven. Now I want to see the place where the Lord was buried in the sepulchre. What? Who? Who sepulchre was it? Oh yes, we had. Uh, and, and John. And John. It talks about Mary, the wife of Cleophas. Uh huh. So that's right. another one. That may be the other Mary. That's right. I mean, we don't really know. Right. That's good. Thank you. Uh, I forget what I was saying before. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. Who's whose grave was it? Who's Joseph of Arimathea. Joseph of Arimathea. Had it ever been used before? No. What was the nature of that sepulchre? Hewn out of the rock. Hewn out of the rock. Rock. We saw when my mom and sent us over there in the 1980s, we saw a rock hewn sepulchre. Well, that was the right one around, who knows, but hewn out of the rock. It could be the sepulchre. And so they went to see it. Then in verse 2, <clears throat> what happened as they were there at the sepulchre? It was an earthquake. Just a little one? A great one. Great one, huh? I uh, wonder why the earthquake took place. At the crucifixion, was there also an earthquake? Yes. Yes. Well, it seems like maybe this was when the resurrection took place, huh? Oh, uh, that could be. To wake up the soldiers from that were sleeping so they could see what the resurrection was looking like. Could be. Uh, it was but, but what is this? Yes, wait a minute. It was some kind of earthquake. Uh, at the We were talking about that. At how, the crucifixion, right? Yeah, and how the graves were open. The graves were open, that's right. But maybe they weren't resurrected yet. The graves the were open. The graves were open, and they, and they came out of the graves after the resurrection, yeah. yes. That's so, cool. was the great earthquake because the angel of the Lord descended. All right, now, what was that? the reason for that was the angel of the Lord descended. Where was he descending from? Heaven. Heaven itself. A powerful angel of the Lord, uh, great in power. And uh, what did that angel of the Lord do when he descended from heaven? He rolled the stone away. That's right. Rolled back the stone from the door. Now, how big a stone might that have been? It was great. It was like a. It was round and it was right. in the so size of the ceiling, maybe. Size of the ceiling, probably. Maybe. Yeah. And uh, what, what? Big enough to cover the entrance to the tomb. Who was right. commissioned size of by? The door, who was commissioned by Pilate to to guard that tomb? A bunch of soldiers. Well, remember, he wanted the soldiers, but the, what did he finally say? He has a lot. You go and you do it. See? In other words, the, the scribes and the Pharisees and the, the elders. And so they were commissioned to go, and the angel decided to roll back the stone and set it back. Now, in verse number three, what was true about this angel of the Lord? What was, the, what was he like? What's the word countenance mean? His face. His face. How was his countenance? Like lightning. Like lightning. Sharp it's and very bright. Very, very bright. Brilliant. And what about his brilliant? That's right. And what about his raiment? His attire? Why is so? So there was a very a great awakening that they saw this angel from heaven. And then verse four, three, four, five, and six together. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. Right, verse 4. May uh, Anna say something? Yes, Anna, I'm sorry. Uh, about verse 3. Mm -hmm. His countenance was like lightning, and his raiment was, or, and his raiment white as snow. Mm -hmm. If you think about, like, when there's snow on the ground, and the sun is out shining, mm -hmm. the snow also sparkles, because mm -hmm. it reflects all the light. Yes. So, not only was his face shining, but his garment was probably yeah. also shining as well. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, Dan, that's something. Go ahead, right? Dear Pastor Waite, hello and good evening. Thank you for tonight's Bible study and keeping our son Joe in prayer. Joe and Norma Facio. Good. Let's wait to Joe Norma, way over in California. Thank you, Joe and Norma Facio. Appreciate that. Questions at vftbc.org or 856 261. 9018, give us a call or question, just say hello, glad to hear from you. Yes, so the, the raiment sparkling like the lightning, white as snow. And then, uh, what does the, was the emotional reaction to those that saw this angel of the Lord, according to verse 4? What was their emotional reaction? They were frightened. Frightened, their fear uh, of him. And because of that fear, what happened to them? Shaking. shaking, just quivering and uh, frightened and 
shaken in bed. And what's the last part of that verse say? Fainted or something. Right? Because it became as dead man. They may have fainted. They just they didn't speak. They didn't talk. They just uh, possibly fell down. Just like dead people. Terrible, terrible thing. An angel of the Lord with a shining and like lightning. It just would be frightening things. If anybody came like that for us, I'm sure we'd be afraid. What's that? These are the, these are the keepers. Yes. No, not the, so the guards, the keepers. Okay. The groundskeepers, I would think. The people yes. that were there to tend and... I mean, I'm not sure... Are you sure they weren't the guards? Well, maybe it was the guards. Oh, no, no, maybe not. It talks about soldiers. It but could be it guards. could be the ones that... The word, the word yeah, you're right. says guards. You're right. Yeah, says but keepers. It could be the ones that the Pharisees and elders dispatched yes. to guard the place, right. remember? Yeah. And then later on, later on, we talk about the gardener. Yeah, later on also... Keepers mean the... the, the, the like Tammy was mentioning, the keep of the all, They also we saw later on the soldiers, see, but remember. See, so the idea of the Bible says keep your heart with all diligence. Right. So the idea of Old Testament in 1611, keep meant to guard. To guard, that's right. And the Old Testament yeah. verse that says keep thy heart with all that, diligence. That's right. For out of all the issues of life, it means to guard your heart. Later in the chapter, we'll see that soldiers were there also. But the key people, uh, Father said, you've got to watch, you go ahead yourselves, you Pharisees and elders, but you take care. But the soldiers probably were there to cure them to be sure everything was all right, because later on we'll talk about the soldiers, but the keepers uh, did shake the game of them. And then uh, uh, in verse number five, the angel, did the angel speak to these keepers? Yes. Yes? To the, to the women. women. To the women okay, the didn't, didn't speak to the keepers, did it? But he spoke to the women. Who are the two women there? I didn't hear you say Mary and Mary. Mary? Mary and Mary. Mary and Mary. Mary, probably the mother of Jesus, probably, and uh, possibly, and also Mary Magdalene. <clears throat> and what did the angel say to these two women? Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Why do you suppose he said, fear not? Well, apparently there was a... The other people that were frightened. So. Yes. He was. They were scary. Those angels. Yes, I'm sure it was that. So this was probably. Um, this was probably <coughs> present prohibition. Stop being afraid. Probably present prohibition. Stop being afraid. That's probably no doubt true. Absolutely. Uh, now you see, he did he did he try to quell and stop stop the fear of these keepers? Did he try to stop the the fear of his keepers? No. No. But who, just the women, see? The ones that they trust were, the Lord. They were believers. They were believers that trusted the Lord Jesus and were there with him because they loved him. Uh, uh, said unto the women, fear not, because maybe they were afraid too. Now, what did the angel know about why they were there and about themselves? What did the angel of the Lord know about them? They knew he, they were seeking Jesus. I know that you seek Jesus. <laughs> which was crucified. So he knew why they were there. You're looking after him. You want to see about him and see what could what happen. Uh, was it for sure that the women may have known that the, was the, the grave was sealed? Uh, Pilate said seal it, put a signal, remember, keep a watch and seal it. So there must have been a stone in the seal. But maybe the women didn't know. Maybe they thought it was just there and it was open and maybe they could well, see it. They, 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 they were there observing. And so they probably knew it was sealed, but they, they were going there anyway, and they yes. said, well, we'll figure out how to open it when we get there. Yes. Yeah, they, they, they were talking and said, who's going to roll the stone away for yes. us? Yes, right. you're right. So they did know it is. But they, they may not have known it was sealed. I don't know. What does that mean? Did they yeah. have like a, maybe a, a signet maybe of some it, sort? Maybe I mean, some type of seal like that. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, or maybe just uh, something do not open. I, I, yeah, that's what I think. Uh, that's what I was up. Uh, a seal to know it's a tamp to like when you open a, a bottle of milk. Yeah. There's a seal that's that when you actually open it, take the cap off, the seal is broken. Mm -hmm. You open a jar of peanut butter, the same thing. Yes. The seal. The seal on that kind of kind of make mm -hmm. tells you that so it indicates whether it's been tampered or not. Sometimes the different equipment has <coughs> a seal or some type of uh, tape or some type of thing on it that tells you if it's been opened or, or tampered. Mm -hmm. Would you like to leave that tape on? Yes, I do. So, so they know that this Lord Jesus was crucified. That's what the angel knew. They're looking to see Jesus who was crucified. And then in verse number six, did the angel of the Lord believe in the bodily resurrection of Christ? Yes. Mm -hmm. Not just his spirit? What did he say to these women? 
is not here. Now, here, here, the person that came to see wasn't there. See, that's interesting. Came to see him, wasn't there. Now, did he need to open the stone, roll away the stone to get out of there? Mm -hmm. No. How could he leave? How could he leave the, the tomb and go through that stone? What was about he had a different body? Different body, resurrected body. Did that body, that uh, act, take place any other time that we know about? Yes. When? At the, um, when Thomas was in the upper room. The, the, the second evening service, Sunday night, Thomas was there. He went through the. Because it, what, did it say, what, what did it say about those doors? Doors locked. Doors being locked, being sealed. He just came up here. Mm -hmm. So the body of prayer was able to go through those things. And so he didn't need the, the, the stone being rolled away, but the angel came to roll away for the ordinary people who were not resurrected body like the Lord Jesus' body. And uh, turn out, he's not here. Now, what did, what did he say about it in verse number 6? He is risen. He's risen. As he said. Now, as he said. Now, what does it mean, as he said? He said he would be risen. He promised, didn't he? After three days, I'll rise again. So he, as he said, he prophesied. Prophesied, absolutely. Now uh, he's not. He's risen. Now that's what the liberals, the moderates, the apostates, and unbelieving preachers always say on Easter Sunday. He is risen. He is risen. What do many of them mean when they say he is risen? Then you say he is risen indeed. That's what Pastor Smith had us all. Yes, he's risen. Indeed. What do many of them mean when they say that? <laughs> Spiritual. Spiritual only. What did the angel of the Lord mean? Bodily. Bodily. It, when he said he's not here, his body wasn't there. His body wasn't there, so his body was raised for the end. Because it says, "Come see the place where the Lord lay." Yes, past, past tense. He dies. They That's died. Good. The pat. I'm thinking of the passage in First Corinthians uh, 15. fifteen. He dies. A, he's buried. He dies a For our sins. mortal. No, no, no. He okay. dies a mortal body and is raised a spiritual, spiritual body. body. Oh yes. Is that? Yeah, that's right. That's First Corinthians 15, wasn't is that, it? Is that? Yeah, I think so. Well, that's right. Verse no, 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 physical body is a spiritual, not that it's a spiritual, but guided and, guided and controlled by the spirit. Not that it's, it's a spiritual body would not be physical. So uh, these things are true. He's not here. See the place where the Lord lives. So that's definitely, it's a bodily resurrection. No question about that. Well, uh, Let's read 789. We may stop here for a couple of words. Take this up. Let's read 789 just at least to, to see what it is. And go quickly, tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead, and behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall you see him, lo, I have told you. And they departed quickly from the sepulchre with fear and great joy, and did run to bring the disciples' word. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, All hail! And they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. I think we'll stop there. It's a little bit uh, beyond what we normally do. But do you have any other comments or questions on before we, we close? Yes. Yes, ma'am? I'm sort of interested in the angel could speak their language. He probably could speak any language that yes. he had to. Yes, that's right. And they were I wonder what angel it was. Well, we don't know whether it was Michael the Archangel, we just don't know. The angel of the Lord is well, yes, Dan. I suspect that the, the Lord had already, really, had already risen from the dead because mm -hmm. he rolled back the stone so that not so the Lord can get out, but right. that they can get in. Mm -hmm. Right. And come see the place. He, he invited them to come and see the place, didn't they? Where the Lord was. Yeah, to be sure what? they could see no. that he was gone. there. Yes. But he wasn't there. That's right. The that, place. That was the reason the stone was rolled away. So that, that that's right. And they were the there. Place. They were there when the stone, when he rolled the stone away. That's so right. They know that the stone was rolled away ahead of time, and someone took, extracted him from the tomb. Mm -hmm. It was. It was clear that it was empty after the stone was yeah, rolled the away. Stone. That's very good. Yeah. They came and they saw the stone was there. Who rolled away the stone? Uh, how many disciples did come to see the place where the Lord lay? That we know. Peter and John. Those two disciples, at least that we know in Scripture. Any other questions or comments before we close tonight? All right, if not, let's close with a word of prayer. Our Father, we do thank Thee for this clear teaching in Matthew 28 of our Savior's bodily resurrection. And we certainly are sad when so many pastors and preachers of the liberal modernist churches and others I don't believe in a bodily resurrection. I think that just a spirit rose when they say he is risen. We thank you, Lord, that this angel of the Lord came and directed the attention of these women to the Savior. 
thank thee, Lord, that he has risen. We thank thee that he's at thy right hand, even right now, tonight, as we speak. Guide us and direct us. Help us on the Lord's day. Help God as he preaches. And morning and evening, help me as I preach, Lord, in this our church. And guide us and direct us. And may we live for our Savior who died for us and rose again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I thank you for coming.